Hey guys, my name is Nadia. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a cook and clean uh, video. I have not done this before. Um, today is the Sunday after Thanksgiving. Uh, we got up really late. It's almost 12.30. I got up in the morning, prayed, and then ate breakfast. And then for some reason I went back to sleep. I have no idea why. Normally I wake up pretty early and then start taking care of the stuff I need to on a Sunday. Uh, especially being a working mom, I make sure that I have a couple of dinners done on Sunday. That way, at least Monday and Tuesday are easier for us. And then I also make sure some things are ready for lunch as well. But anyway, today's video, I'll take you along and show you uh, what I do on a Sunday. I'll do a little bit of meal prep. I'll do a little bit of cleaning, cooking. I try to spend a couple of hours uh, on a Sunday just to get ready for the week ahead. I do have some laundry to take care of. I have some just general pickup around the house. I have to pick up the dishes that are that are clean from Thanksgiving dinner. By the way, if you have not seen that vlog, please check that out. That was my first vlog and my experience on how I cooked the turkey for the first time. So I hope you guys like that. All right, I'll take you along on this Sunday and let's go ahead and get started. So kitchen is not looking too bad. I did clean. Uh, well, of course I have been cleaning, but I did wash all the dishes from uh, leftover from Thanksgiving the day before or on a Friday. I was actually off on Friday. Our company was closed. For the first time, we had Thursday and Friday both off, so that was relaxing and good. Anyway, I need to pick up these dishes. They need to go back in the cabinets, um, washed and cleaned and dried. Kitchen is not looking too bad. I had the, I'd washed the dishes from yesterday. Need to pick up around the kitchen. Before I do that, I need to take out the stuff that I need to cook. And this is the roasting tray that I don't have any space for in the kitchen. It needs to go back in the garage. That's what's going on in the kitchen. I have some laundry to pick up. I folded this yesterday. Um, this needs to be vacuumed here. We have not vacuumed in a few days and it's a lot of mess. Pick up around the house, like I mentioned, these clothes need to be picked up. So the clothes that do not go in the dryer, we normally put them outside, but it has been cold here in Texas finally, so we just had to put them here. It's the best spot I could find. Just general pick up around the house. Prayer rugs are still on the floor. And let's start with picking out what I need to cook for today. We have this big freezer for a reason in the garage so I'm just gonna shop around the freezer and cook whatever I can I do have some curries ready when I do batch cooking I make sure I freeze like half of whatever I'm cooking that way on Sundays like this when I'm really tired and I don't have any grocery done that way I can pull out something from here okay I'm gonna start with I know that's a chicken curry I'm gonna take this out I'm gonna take out fish. I'll make it either today or tomorrow. By the way, this big box of fish we get from a store here called Restaurant Depot. And a whole box is it's like 35 or 30 bucks. So it's a really good deal. I need to take out some turkey for lunch. And sure that I can make. I also have the chicken marinated on the bottom. I think I'll pull that out as well. Let me pull out everything and then I'll show you in the kitchen what I decided to cook and the rest of the meal prep for the week. My laundry is still running, so I'll take care of that as well. I'll try to tackle the laundry room as well today. As you can see, it's a lot of mess in here. One thing that I do not, I mean, I love my house. It's big enough. For everyone, the kitchen is big enough, but one thing I would change would be the laundry room. There is just no space here. I try to organize it with boxes on the top, a uh, rack with some extra, for some extra storage. I don't have space to store my instant pot in, um, in the kitchen, so if this goes here. And then I ended up with no space for this. So if I have to have backpacks in the laundry room because there's really no other space. We keep our everyday youth shoes here and the rest of them are in the garage. So if you have any suggestions for a smaller laundry room, how to organize this better. This just needs to be washed so this will go away. 
Yeah, I'm just short of space here and I don't know what to do. I'll try to clean this as much as I can. So I was showing you the shrimp I was gonna make. I cannot make those because I don't have any stir fry vegetables. I'm looking in my inside freezer now. <coughs> and I found meatballs. I froze I froze them uh, a couple of weeks ago. These are raw meatballs. I just shaped them up and freeze them. I'll just throw them in the curry curry paste. Just make meatball curry out of these and I'll show you how I do this. Since these are done, curry would take a lot less time. Then I also took out uh, marinated chicken legs, quart legs. I marinate these and I freeze them. That way I can make them in the air fryer, like a grilled chicken tikka anytime that we need to. This would probably not thaw today. I'll leave it in the fridge and it will thaw by tomorrow, so I'll make it tomorrow. But we'll have it for whenever we need. Small piece of roasted turkey for their lunches. This just needs to be trash. It's old cheese from the fridge. Some of the frozen items I saw in the freezer, they need to be trashed. They are really old and I never got to use them. I don't know what happened. I normally don't waste anything. And I just found out that the big box of fish that we have, normally we get the ones with which are individually wrapped. But this one my dear brother got for me. <laughs> and this is all the fish fillets um, are not wrapped. So they are pretty much open frozen fillets and I'm gonna have to put them in individual bags so I can have portion size um, fish bags and then I can take them out whenever I need to so this is what I need to get done right so let's go ahead and get started uh, first of all you'll see my head cut off <laughs> because of course in the privacy of my home I don't wear hijab and I wanted to get through this as soon as possible without wearing anything without wearing hijab on my head it just adds to it so anyway, I'll try to show my entire head and face as much as possible. But let's just go ahead and get started and work with what we have right now. I'm in my comfortable working shirt. All the fish pieces are, are in a big block of ice, so I have to separate these. I did not realize these are not individually packed, as I haven't mentioned already. Those are the kind of fish we normally get. Hopefully this is separating pretty easily. So in each pack I pack about four. That is more than enough for us for dinner one time and then a little bit of leftover. So that should be enough. I've not recorded, um, I hope the mic on the camera is pretty good to get all of my audio from kind of far away. I'm not too far away but still. Hey guys, I had to jump in here for a little bit. Uh, during editing, I realized the bag and the packing was making too much noise and camera was picking up that more than my me talking. So I'll just fast forward this and let's just enjoy the music. I brought you outside for a second to show you how I freeze it. So this is the bottom two racks. I freeze the raw meat. Um, most of the times I write what's on there. Like that one says uh, goat meat. I have two packs of goat meat left. I have some chicken wings. Halal chicken wings from the same store, restaurant depot. I have one pack of chicken quart legs left that are already marinated. All of my fish is going here. And then these are uncooked chicken strips. I have a vegetable thing, a drawer. And then rest of the freezer looking pretty empty. I store bread on the top. I have my garlic bread, uh, bread from Sam's, Hawaiian bread. We buy it in bulk. Not really bulk, but the two packs from Sam's and then freeze it here. Anyway, I need to put the last pack of fish and then we'll go inside and finish the rest. Laundry is still going on. Alina has switched the laundry for me from the washer to the dryer and I'm going to put Saber's bedding. Saber's bedding needed to be washed so I'm going to wash all of that in the next load. I'm going to get started on my meatballs. I need to defrost these a little bit. Then I'll show you how I make the curry. And then fish is being defrosted as we speak. I had to dip it in cold water because those frozen fillets were not going to defrost anytime soon. And I'll take a plate and defrost. I will make all of these meatballs. If the curry is too much, then I will uh, freeze half of it. I 
stuck with the onion so I can start browning this. going on so far my fish was already defrosted so I cut the big fillet in half I have seasoned it with all of these I have garlic powder onion powder Cajun seasoning lemon pepper and parsley uh, so I wanted to make sure of that and then I'll be able to make uh, that at the same time as I make the meatballs because when I'm standing in front of the stove I like to cook multiple things so I can be done quickly so let's go ahead and get started with the fish and the meatballs at the same time. So I have my onions browning up. I have a little bit of olive oil in there, heated that up. And then onions are going to be browned for the meatball curry. And then on the side I have a pan going on for the fish. All right, so let's get cooking. Uh, I have my onions browning up. Once my oil is hot enough, I'm gonna start adding my fish pieces to it. I start the fish off with um, high heat or high medium, high to medium, just to make sure that it can get nice and brown and kind of crispy on the top. And I'll show you after it's done on how it looks like. The onions are being browned. We want the onions to be like lightly golden brown. And then after they are browned, I'm going to show you the spices that I'll be adding. And here's what the fish looks like so far. So I'm adding garlic paste to my brown onions. And then I'm adding my trio turmeric, red chili, and then uh, cumin seeds. I, normal, I normally add these three in all the curries that I make. That's just the base for any curry. Alright, and this is how the fish looks like. Now I'm adding my cut up tomatoes on the, the meatball curry. I'm going to cover that to simmer for a little bit and then I'll show you how I make the curry paste out of that. I also added a little bit of yogurt. Alright, here's the situation for the uh, meatball curry. I have, uh, like I showed you, I had uh, red onions browned up, then I added some spices to it. <coughs> Excuse me, I added a couple of tablespoons of yogurt and tomatoes. I let it simmer down. So this is pretty chunky, obviously it does not look like curry. What I'll do is I blend it in the blender. So it's, it is still pretty hot, it's fine, it, my blender can handle that. So I took it off the stove while I blend it in the blender. And then it will give me a curry paste. Once that curry paste is done, I'll add a little bit more water. And then I'll add my uh, meatballs in there. And I'll show you that process as well. curry paste looks like so far all the little paste in left in here I'll add a little bit of water and rinse it and then put it in so we don't waste any of this goodness in the blender and then I'm adding a little bit I'm adding a little bit of tomato paste maybe half a can and this is gonna splash on you I mean it's gonna start boiling and it's gonna start splashing so you make sure that when it does um, start heating up that you have it covered on the meatball curry that I make I like to keep it more liquidy my kids like it that way or you can keep it this thick if you like. I am just going to add more water and I had added spices according to how much water I was going to add so it's not going to lose its taste. It's still going to be spicy enough. At this point I'll add my coriander and uh, cumin seed powder that I made. I'll throw in washed green chili in there and take off the stem. This gives a really nice flavor and a little bit of extra spiciness. 
and then i'm just gonna put the meatballs in there meatballs have been defrosted they don't look perfectly round but i'll just roll them up one more time before i throw them in the curry that way they will retain their shape and they're just gonna cook up in the curry i'll give it a quick roll it's already in a ball just to give it a good shape because they have been defrosted and they lost their shape and they got defrosted but it's better than making everything the same day so i always keep meatballs ready um, in the fridge or the freezer so i'm doing this cooking video i think the first time i have recorded some i have not been able to upload those because i just can't find time to edit <laughs> and i'm really trying to improve my content on my channel let me know if you guys like the cooking cooking cleaning kind of videos i've added some recipe videos but i have not i have noticed that i did not get as many views as i was expecting on those i'm not sure if people don't care for recipe videos or what's the deal with that so let me know what kind of videos you like to see on my channel trying to handle everything with a full-time job with my kids and all of the other responsibilities i have going on so your feedback would be really, really important and it would be really appreciated. Alright, these are in a good shape now. Making a ball and once it goes in the curry, it starts cooking, it, it remains, it, it retains its uh, shape very well. It's not going to be flat on one side again. Alright, that is it. Let me go wash my hands. I'll turn it down for now and I'll be right back. Okay, I'll give it a good stir. It has come to a boil. You can cover it and boil it. You see how it started cooking and it's retaining its shape. You can see that round meatball. So this curry, this is the thickness of the curry that I like in the meatball curry. Uh, this may be too many meatballs for us, so I'm, I'll try to freeze half of it. Or sometimes kids like to eat it the next day they just like meatballs so i'm gonna cover it let it boil on high for two minutes and then i'll put it down to simmer so the meatballs can cook and then that would be all of my cooking that i'm doing today yeah i'll check with you guys in a little bit hey guys i got my hijab back on so i can check in with you guys <laughs> so i have so far i have fish done uh, the meatball curry is almost done it has about five minutes it's been simmering on low um, but it's chicken meatballs, so they get done pretty pretty fast. Uh, so far, I have been cleaning the kitchen, been washing the dishes. I have a few more I need to wash, so I'll do that. I'm making instant mashed potatoes to go with the fish tonight. And then, in the meantime, while the meatballs are getting done, I need to clean up just a quick weekly cleanup for the fridge. We have a lot of items in the fridge that, if they don't get used uh, after a week, we have to throw them, obviously. So I'll just do a quick cleanup of the fridge. I'll show you. There's just a lot going on. So just a quick weekly cleanup. Nothing major. I try to keep it clean as much as I can. All the cooked food will go here. This is leftover from yesterday. We had uh, chicken enchilada. This was a freezer meal that I popped out and made it in the oven. We have rice leftover. We have green, uh, black beans. Most of this is what have to be trash. These are old waffles and some other things. Anything for lunch or anything for fresh fruit, grapes, anything that's washed like spinach and arugula that you see. And then the top has some miscellaneous items like bottles, um, some bread, that kind of thing. So let me go ahead and clean that up and I'll show you how I do this. The food that we can still use, I cooked this yesterday, so I'll save this. Finish an arugula for the salad. Let me check if it's still fine. Then we can keep that as well. Yeah, this looks fine. Spinach stays good for about two weeks in the box, the rubber boxes. If you haven't checked that out, I'll leave a link below. Arugula is pretty fresh too. This is a week old, so it's not gonna go bad that easily. Cranberry sauce, I'm gonna keep it. I'll use it on my toast or jam as, as jam. This white sauce that we made a few days ago for the Thanksgiving. We can use it tonight for mashed potatoes. This is old going in trash. Old soup noodles, old chutney. I have to unfortunately keep crashing. 
leftover stuffing, I don't think we're gonna use it today. I might save some for myself for tonight, but that's gonna be all. This is going in fresh. Change the angle a little bit hopefully you can see it better hopefully like this okay so this is almost done and it's kind of old so i'm gonna throw this away we have another pack in the in the outside fridge so i'll bring that in cranberry sauce i think i'm gonna feed one of the small boxes I'm gonna be, keep my veggies here on this section anything that's cooked will go over here i'm putting it in the front because we need oh, to use okay. these um, raw vegetables go here and the bread is actually gonna go in the drawer on the bottom this door is specifically designed for Saber so he can reach all the cream cheese his Hawaiian bread after snack any of the drinks that he wants not really for him but you know what I mean I keep lunch meats going here too I'm gonna arrange that after I'm all right so that's the drawer done you can see all the yogurts and cheeses, all the drinks and uh, spreads like cream cheese or margarine that Saber can access and make his own snack. Hawaiian bread for him, bagels for him. Freezer is already in good shape so I'm not going to mess with that. I know where everything goes and has no need to clean that up. Again, let's go back to the fridge. I'll put the items that I need to put back and we'll be done with that. This is how it's looking now. I had to throw some medication that was on the top as well. So I have these containers I got from Amazon. Um, most of you must have seen it on many of the fridge organization videos. These are really handy. They hold up a lot. I can pull it out and pull whatever I need from the back. So it holds a lot. I have, uh, I normally put things that cannot fit in the doors. So this side of the door is really for smaller bottles. None of the bigger bottles fit here. Really skinny and thin bottles need to go here. This side of the fridge we can fit like a gallon and then bigger creamers and all of that so anything that's remaining like my yogurt for kids my ginger paste yogurt paste any of the thicker bigger bottles i keep it in here and then i have this rotating uh, lazy susan thing for extra items that we need like jam i have pickle um this red chili sauce all of that and this bottle is just sitting alone I don't have any space I'll make pasta this week as well uh, dates on the bottom I have this container for like extra roti or wheat tortilla that's left over right now we have some naans in here and some other um, Burberry bread that can go with the uh, with the curries I keep eggs in this container this is a very old container I have had in my old fridge as well cranberry sauce that's left over any dry items, any fruits, any wash fruits go here. I have spinach, arugula, dry apricots in here so far. Any of the cooked items I keep in this shelf. So I have some items that I put in the front that we need to use. That's from a few days ago. This is leftover from last night. And all the other items that I'll cook, the meatball and the fish will be eaten today. So meatball curry would go here on this section. And again, this is fruit and vegetable drawer. They're in pretty good shape, so I'm not gonna do anything to them. It's good. Any cheeses, butters, sauces go in here. All right, and as I showed you, this is the kids' snack drawer and lunch meat drawer and bread, lunch bread. Um, so I have rearranged that. This looks good so far, and this should be good for another week. <laughs> okay, so here's the weekly meal plan looking so far. I have um. As I mentioned before, I took out the dough from the freezer. We'll make a uh, fresh wheat tortilla out of that. At least uh, each pack is enough for us for to make about uh, four to five big tortillas. So I took out two packs. So this will go with either meatball curry or the other chicken curry that I have for the week. The meatball curry is ready in the Pyrex dish. Once it cools down, I'll put it in the fridge. 
um, one of the night, oh, well, actually tonight, we're eating fish and mashed potatoes. And we have some leftover rice from chicken enchilada from yesterday. We'll eat this tonight. I had the chicken curry from the freezer. It's already thawed, but I'll put it in the fridge. And we'll have this one of the nights. And then I have um, uh, frozen marinated chicken quart legs that I had in the freezer. So I'm going to use these one of the night. Um, I, I, normally I just throw it in the air fryer for about 30 to 35 minutes and just flip it once in between. So it tastes like grilled chicken tikka once you make it in the air fryer. All right, that's all I have for the week. And one of the nights I'll end up making a vegetable or pasta or either one of the lentils with uh, rice or um, maybe wheat tortilla. So these are only three things or four things that's just not going to be enough for the entire week but so far this is what I have and I feel better on Sunday if I have a couple of items ready to go for the dinner for at least Monday, Tuesday. But I have more than that so I'll be happy with that because after work sometimes I just don't have time to make dinner. Uh, okay all the dishes that came out from the fridge needs to be washed. I've been, wa I've been washing dishes as I went along uh, while I was making the meatball curry. But I have to wash these now and then I'll be done with the kitchen. The grapes need to be washed so they can be ready for lunches. No fancy stove cleaner here. I feel like soap and water is still the best way to clean off the grease off of the stove. What do you guys use? Let me know if there's something that I'm missing out on and if I, there's something I should spend money on to clean the stove because so far I'm just using the soap. <laughs> And yes, I'm a volunteer in my home. That's exactly why I'm wearing that shirt. <laughs> okay, here's really the only fancy cleaner I keep. This is good for granite and for our marble table. Right, kitchen cleaning has been completed. Table, breakfast table is clean. Microwave got really dirty. I've cleaned that. Um, that stuff, it looks good. Clean the counters um, with the granite counter top cleaner um, because I just like to give it a good wipe um, weekly. And then normally I don't use it. I mean, on a regular basis, I don't use it. These are just the grapes that are drying up. I have to put them in a box since they're done. Dishes have been washed. I'll pick them up at night. It's almost five o'clock. Uh, stove has been cleaned. I uh, like to clean it thoroughly once a week. Uh, I have already broomed. Rest of our cleaning is done. Uh, our bathrooms are not that dirty. We cleaned it like a few days before. Living room has been cleaned as well. I have some laundry to do. I'll fold it at night. Alina vacuumed for me and she also dusted this for me. So thank you to Alina. And then Sabre has picked up a few things here. So if you have older kids, make sure they work. Oh, there's one prayer rug still on the floor. Um, this former living stays clean, pretty much clean. I mean, nobody really sits here. So uh, we normally pray here. This is our 
area between the formal dining and the formal um, couch, formal living area. This is a big space here, so we like to pray here. Sometimes the kids leave their prayer rug here. I have this blanket uh, rack that we use for prayer rugs. Um, so once we are done praying, we fold it up and put it here. Um, but of course, kids leave it on the floor, which is fine. Sometimes we leave it there for the next prayer. Sometimes we pick it up, but most of the times I would like to be picked up. Alina left her scarf there too. Anyway, most of the house is clean. We are done for the day. I have laundry to do. Laundry just needs to be folded, so I'll be doing that. House looks clean. I'm feeling better that I'm ready for the week. I have a few dinners that are ready. Uh, lunches, and as I showed you, already in the freezer. Some kebab sandwiches. Um, I'll have turkey for lunch. So I don't really write down anything in meal prep or breakfast or lunch prep. There's Hamza with his shake. Um, so I don't really write down anything. Maybe I should. I'll just make up menu in my head <laughs> for dinners and lunches and then just go with that. So anyway, like I showed you, I have a few dinners ready. We'll have a couple of lunches ready and then I'll think in the middle of the week if you need to cook anything else for lunches or dinners, then I'll do that. Now I need to go and get ready because I have to take Hamza to his tutoring class. And then we'll pick up a few items from Walmart for grocery. As I said, I did not have chance to go to grocery store at all. I went before Thanksgiving, so we have, we need a few items from grocery store as well. Checking in again with you. Um, I don't even know if I'm doing this thing right. I don't know how many times I've checked in with you or not. Uh, so we just came back from Walmart. Um, so we took Hamza, we are already back. We brought Hamza back. It takes about one and a half hour for his class. And then we, on the way back, we, or on the way while we were waiting, we stopped at Walmart to pick up some essential groceries. Uh, we were out of like buns and breads and that kind of thing. So right now I am making garlic bread uh, to go with the fish and mashed potatoes in the air fryer. And that should be done in a little bit, so we'll have dinner. Everybody is ready to go back tomorrow. There's like no other option. We no, have to go not. back. The kids already showered before they before we went out to drop off Hamza. So, all right. So we'll have some dinner, and I'll sh try to show you as much as I can for the laundry that I have to pick up. And yes, yeah, that's all I have for now. So that was the last thing I had to take care of. Fabric's room is all done, laundry is picked up. I did not tackle my laundry room. I honestly don't know what to do in there. I don't want to move things around and then just move them to the garage and then, you know, make some space and it's, it's not really a permanent solution. So if you have any ideas for a small laundry room space, how to rearrange that and how to make it more functional, then please leave some comments below. That would really help me out. I hope you like this video uh, this was more like a weekly reset that we do or I do every week uh, being a working mom it has been working for me really well I've been a working mom for more than 17 years now and so uh, like I said it has been working for me it really helps me to have a smooth week uh, even if I'm running late from work I know I'll have a couple of dinners ready in the fridge and that just makes a big difference let me know if you would like to see this weekly. I do this every week anyway, and I'll be happy to record it for you. Um, let me know if you have any suggestions for me. Being a working mom, I can use all the help. And be sure to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I've been adding a lot of fun stuff on there. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.